this is a microscopic image of a paramecium that you can see here this is our data set and uh, i took one one of the image outside of this paramecium data set and i pasted it here so now if i see okay so now what i did to the trained model a deep learning model which i trained to that i am going to uh, now uh, give this image image 51 dot jp which is paramecium and i read that image okay and i will pre-process it then i will load that a uh, trained model okay and i am going to get the prediction done so in the end the prediction will be paramecium so this is how we are getting a proper accurate result from our deep learning model which is trained to classify any microscopic images so with this with us there are uh, nearly seven classes amoeba euglena hydra paramecium rod bacteria spherical bacteria spiral bacteria and uh, yeast okay now let us uh, start and uh, code it from base and we'll get this result hi everyone welcome back this is Raju from smart AI technologies i think in uh, many of our videos i already explained what is the what these libraries are used for and i am not going to explain it today so i am directly uh, going to show you how to implement this okay uh, without uh, wasting any time but remember that whatever the uh, libraries come from here to here all these are model related model building and testing related libraries all these libraries are uh, like numpy is actually used to work with rs seaborn is actually used to work with plots matplotlib is also used to work with plots and even to display the images pandas is actually used to import any data set or create any data set okay so about these libraries uh, i'll try to explain when uh, when we use them so don't skip and watch it clearly you'll be getting good results in the end so i am giving a path called data set why i am giving data set path you can see here my file name is data set and this is my jupyter notebook so these two be these both should be in same location that is working directory so many students are uh, using my code but uh, they are failing with this okay uh, they are uh, pasting this data set somewhere and they are giving uh, they are keeping that path as it is okay they are not changing the path according to the their data set okay so they are getting so many errors okay this this is a problem that many of students are uh, facing and they are approaching us again okay uh, so here what i what we'll do is we'll give the path for the data set i'm going to list out what are the classes are there with us okay these are the classes amoeba yeast to a spiral bacteria hydra spherical bacteria paramecium and uh, rod bacteria so now i will access both input and output in my case what are the input all the image paths okay all complete image paths are my input and all their labels all their labels particular image and its label which class it belongs to is my output okay that is label okay what we say input is my file path okay output is my label uh, list so i will uh, use both of them and i will append both of them and i will create a data frame using pandas okay then i am going to create a plot in this plot i am going to plot like each class how many images are there so this this is not a balanced data set okay so you need to keep this in your mind okay this is part one okay here we are going to work with the same data set in part two i will be advising you how to work with a uh, balanced data set how to balance the data set first of all what are the techniques that we are going to use okay in uh, you, you will you will uh, see that okay so first we will implement it in uh, in an original data set first okay so what are the things that we are going to do in next part okay in second part to balance this data set so once we get the data frame created we will split that uh, data set into train and test just like this we, we are following this path 
first we will uh, take the data set we will prepare the data set we will pre-process the data set now splitting which i am doing now once i split the data set i am going to build a deep learning model in my case it's uh, transfer learning that is a resnet 50 once i build that model what i should do i should train that resnet 50 once i train it i should validate by giving some images as an input so this is the path that we are following so here i am going to do training and test splitting of the data test and train split of the data into 75 and 25 with random state 42 so that it will mix up the images okay uh, because uh, below data should not be only one or two classes should not be taken into testing uh, okay so it should be uh, mixed up so we are mixing up and after that i'm just uh, displaying some of the images so don't worry about the code okay I will be sharing you the code just message us to the given below number okay whatsapp number you can just message us you will be getting the code and also the data set and also we will be giving you support and after that whatever the data is there i will push that data to image data generator which is okay we called it above even train test split okay train test split i just uh, used it to split the data set and after that image data generator is there this is actually used to do the augmentation and conversion of data set and batching them so all these things can be done using image data generator model is uh, used to build the model from the layers and these are all these are all the layers deep learning models are neural networks what we say neural network layers and i will tell you now what is the early stopping okay when it comes i will, I will let you know uh, all these things i will let you know below now as i uh, mentioned you using data generator i should uh, augment the data then i need to create a batch of arrays both input and output so here what it will do is i will apply that okay I just defined here so i will apply i will apply uh, these data file path that is a file path and label which we defined above in data frame so it will apply in all the images okay it will convert all the images and its labels into array and it will batch them it will uh, bundle them okay in normal uh, language what we can bundling or uh, uh, keeping them in a single hole a single pack and it will uh, reshape that image size into 100 cross 100 batch size will be 32 like uh, every time 32 images will be taken at once for batching shuffling should be done so we are not taking top uh, top top images so like uh, stack images we are uh, mixing those images shuffling and we are taking and like this i will do for train test and validation so finally i will be having three batches one is train test and validation batches they will be batch of images bundle of image and its label bundle of its image and its label so now we need to go for model building in our case we are going to use uh, ResNet 50 which is already trained on ImageNet we call this process as a uh, transfer learning so we are going to do a transfer learning and we are going to use ResNet 50 and we are going to train it on our images so this is a way of importing that uh, pre-trained uh, model on some other data set so then we should define that dense layer mainly and we should say how many classes that we have target classes so this is the main thing okay don't forget here if you have if you are having six classes so you make it six if you are having five classes make it five so it depends on how many classes how many subfolders in your data set you are having so finally it will add this dense layer to that uh, uh, pre-trained resnet 50 okay now that ResNet 50 is pre-trained not for this images, it's pre-trained for some other images. So then we will go into compile that model and as I mentioned you there is a callback function. This callback function we will use if you are training for 20 or 30 epochs or iterations. If there is no change in after 10 epoch it should stop there. Based on 2 continuous epochs if validation accuracy is not increasing so it should stop okay if epoch is 10. So I am not using it because I want to train it for 10 epochs. Once I train, you can see here. So our training accuracy is good, but our validation accuracy is very low. 
this is a problem why because we will solve this in next part this this problem we are facing we should solve it okay this will be first part and uh, don't uh, forget to watch the second part okay that i will be publishing uh, very soon because there we will improve we, uh, okay this should be one of the good learning stuff uh, that everyone can get okay so because this is the main concern we are getting uh, uh, training accuracy good and validation accuracy is not good we call this as an underfit so uh, i am going to save that model i am going to get accuracy and losses uh, so then i will validate using my validation data set so i am getting 55 percent uh, of validation i will generate uh, okay this one uh, what is a classification report using confusion matrix of that and then i am going to apply it on some images you can see here for this it's giving wrong because our validation uh, validation this was very less so euglena is right here it's wrong so for some of images it's giving wrong and some of the images it's uh, it's right okay so now you, what if you can give uh, separate image as an input so here you can see that i done uh, starting of this video so when i give paramecium it's it's uh, giving an output of paramecium okay. so we are getting predicted very right so this was all about our first video we will see in the next video where we will be improving the test testing accuracy okay we will be reducing that validation loss so try to subscribe and uh, click on that bell button so that you will be getting notified uh, when our second part will be published okay thank you thank you very much